Hi guys, um, I decided that I was going to do another video um, and I'm going to show off um, my camel on Felbeast. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really, really, really pleased with actually how this has come out. Um, I mean, it took me, when I started it, nearly two weeks ago now I think I started on this model. Um, the painting took me nearly a full day yesterday. Um, but So let's sort of try to get a better angle on this. As you can see, so this really is just the Witch King or Fell Beast, with a little bit of conversion work done. Um, the base is probably the biggest um, like time consuming, most time consuming thing that I've done, um, as it's made from chopped up, I've basically made a, like the corner of a broken building made from chopped up sprues, uh, to basically make like little bricks. And that's all been stacked together in a, so, what do you call it, double coursing, dual coursing. As you can see, um, they're not all facing the, the same way. Some of them are long ways, some of them are short way across. Uh, and then inside we've got some flags. They're just plastic card that I've cut into squares. I just sort of cut I like the edges of a bit of a slope just to make them a bit more textured. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, I've used some of the, is it a Ghrelin Earth or something? It's one of the G, uh, Games Workshop like technical basing paints. Um, just to basically look like it's been, I don't know, wet and dried or whatever, you know, you know some sort of dried clay that's been obviously been uh, showing through underneath the, uh, all the broken up, busted um, tiles. Uh, as you can see, um, Kamul himself, as I, know, as I already mentioned, is is basically the Witch King on Fell Beast. Um, and I've kind of shaved the helmet down to make it look a bit smaller. And instead of putting the crown on top, I have put the flat Oh, the top bit off of an Eastling helmet. Um, now I could have I could have gone with uh, keeping like the crest on, which would have you know which would have looked pretty good as well. But the reason I chose not to do that is to make it easier to uh, push mold, uh, press mold um, a model, uh, and, and like a second helmet for this dismounted version, which is just uh, one of the old metal ring wraiths. Um, and then I've basically used green stuff to make this, and I've done a sword swap. Uh, that's probably the biggest difference is really on this model, besides the paint, is that the so I've added a couple of bits from the Eastern Cataphract set, as you can see with what's on top of the uh, Fell Beast's little helmet there. Um, but but yeah, and I decided that I wanted to do I'd give camels like purple and red, I saw that like that brass gold armor. Um, so it fits more with my Eastling army because I'm probably going to mostly use them for my Eastling army. I mean, I could quite happily build quite a nice mortar army out of what I've got. Uh, but I just, uh, I don't know how many made mass design. I really just play mortar that much. I mean, I've got at least one friend locally who's got like a superb mortar army. And I just, I can't see myself ever using Mordor uh, myself just because I'm likely to fight it more often than... I, you know, I've got my Isengard army, and I've got my Eastling army now. I, I would possibly be tempted to ally in some Morrowind Orcs um, from Mordor, maybe into my Eastling army, just to give me some, sort of, you know, high-strength soldiers, maybe if I really need the extra hitting power. Um, but anyway, let's try and get some different angles on this. Fortunately, the light is not amazing. Um, but I'm quite happy with how this has come out. Uh, the like the main body of the Nazgul, like that black, that's achieved with um, basically what well, that is just the black spray paint that I used as my primer, and then I've used Bale Tan Green over the top of that. So that's one of the GW shades. Um, that has basically that gives it this sort of. I quite like the way that when you put the belt on green over black, so sort of the effect it gives, and then I've just dry brushed off grey over that, um, like one darker layer. I've done it a bit lighter on the underside of the fell piece. I don't know how well you can see, um, uh, but yeah, um, and then obviously the wings are mostly a lighter grey with is it Reichland flesh shade over. The um, I could have, uh, yeah, because I quite like the sort of way it's a bit more brownie, it's a bit dirtier, I don't know, like, 
Um, but yeah, I quite like the way that effect that's come out. Um, I'm really happy with the brass for the for the hair for the armor. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's just me showing off my uh, Camel on Felber Beast conversion, all painted up. All right, see you later.